In this video, you are going to learn how to do arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the medial capsule of the knee joint. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of role glide assessment is to gain information on reactivity of the joint and of course articular problems such as capsular limitations. To assess the medial capsule, have your patient in side lying position with the leg to be examined, positioned so that the femur is resting on the edge of the table with a towel underneath and the tibia hanging freely. The other leg can be flexed and supported by a pillow in order to make it comfortable for the patient. The condyles of the femur are the convex joint partner and the tibia is concave, so while moving the tibia, we have to roll and glide into the same direction. Now flex the knee to 30 degrees and externally rotate the tibia in order to create pretension on the medial collateral ligament. Then induce a roll into lateral and increasingly proximal direction with your distal hand above the patient's ankle and add the gliding component with your other hand on the patient's proximal tibia into the same direction. As the medial condyle of the tibia reaches slightly more distal compared to its lateral partner, your direction has a slight angle into proximal direction and is not completely perpendicular to the tibia. If you want to increase the stress on the medial ventral capsule, you can create pretension on the ventral part of the capsule by flexing the knee more than 30 degrees. While the technique is the same, you will first have to internally rotate the patient's hip maximally until you can roll and glide the tibia. For all techniques, assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range, then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypomobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention as the techniques are identical. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques according to your goals. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that. Okay, you've reached the end of this video and if you like, you can check out more videos on manual therapy in the playlist to my left. Again, check the info icon in the top right corner for the featured videos and also take a look at the links in the video description down below. At last, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will let you know when we release new videos. As always, this was Kai for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.